Okay, your third exercise is going to be for the lower body. The first two were the big muscles of the upper body. Now we're going to work on the big muscles of the lower body. And this first exercise is called a deadlift. And you'll be working the back kinetic chain, or the chain of muscles from the back of your body. Specifically your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back. Okay, so now I'm going to be demonstrating this with a dumbbell, a, a barbell, but you can also do these with two dumbbells in your hand if you don't have access to a barbell at home. Uh, the first set is my warm up set, 10 um, repetitions at a moderate weight. This bar is uh, 40 pounds right here, so this is moderate. Now, the position here is your bar or your weights will be in contact with your thighs. You're going to slightly bend your knees, and then you're going to slide down your legs, but you're lifting your hips up in the air and you'll feel right now I can feel the maximum stretch for my hamstrings I don't want to go any lower because if I go any lower it's going to come from my lower back and that would put me at risk so I'm going to come back up from there and squeeze my hips forward okay so that's one you're breathing in on the way down lifting the hips up breathing out two so breathe in and breathe out and as you're coming forward you're pulling your belly up and in because you don't want to let your lower abs go loose as you're doing this because then you are putting your back at risk even if you have the right form. So you're thinking about lifting your belly up and supporting yourself from underneath as you're doing the repetitions. Okay, this is seven. And then breathing out as you come up. Breathe in eight. And then breathe out. And this is 10. And up. Okay, so that was my moderate weight just to get the blood flow, get the muscles firing, and the pattern I'm gonna be using with the heavier weight. Right now, I have this barbell loaded with um, 70 pounds um, for five reps. That's going to be challenging for me. So I'm going to lift up the bar and then get in position from there. Five reps at a weight that's challenging by the fifth rep. Same position, slightly bend the knees, lifting the hips up, and then one. Hips are lifting up like someone's got their hand under your butt cheeks and they're lifting your, your butt up towards the ceiling. That's three, and I can feel this. Keeping my lower abs engaged, pulling up. Four, and five. I'm gonna put this down because this is in single one leg at a time, it's both legs together. I need a little recovery, 10, 15 seconds to let the waste products get carried out from the working muscles by the blood, and then fresh oxygenated blood being brought back in with the nutrition that those muscles need to be going again. Okay, so here I go again. Make sure you pick the weight up by bending the knees a little bit and not letting it be back labor. Okay, second set. Breathing in, and one. Breathe in, as you come up, you breathe out to help the effort part. Okay, and usually it's the contraction. That's on this one, it's the way up, up, back up. Three, and four, and the final one, and five. Good. Again, bending my knees, put the weight down. Proper lifting to get up and down is very important, especially for this deadlift. Okay, so again, I'm giving myself about 10, 15 seconds to let those muscles recover. Fresh blood brought back in so I can hit it again for the next five. This is the last five. Okay, I feel like I'm ready to go. Get up. And here we go. Breathe in and breathe out. One. Sliding the weight down the thighs, lifting the hips up. Two. Breathing in. Three. Breathing in. Four. And one more. Breathing in. And five. And then back down. So that's your deadlift, back of the legs.